Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is. We're back with another foe on the flicks. And in this video, I'm going to review, excuse me, the new uh, Netflix movie with Adam Sandler called Hustle. I watched it two nights ago. It just came out. If you haven't seen it, if you're on Netflix, I'm sure you've seen it because I think it's number one trending movie right now. So it's a comedy drama. Got 91% Rotten Tomatoes. 97% like this movie. The premise is after a down on his luck basketball scout discovers an extraordinary player abroad, he brings the phenom back without his team's approval. Okay. This, let me just start by saying I'm not a huge fan of like uh, basketball movies. Uh, like uh, with Samuel Jackson, Ben Affleck. I didn't watch that one. I barely watched the Sam Jackson one, but that's a good movie. The Game Plan or some shit like that. Um, but this movie was really, really good. Like for basketball drama, drama is like super touching. I mean, it's got everything you want in a good story. Humor, hardship, struggle, perseverance, trust, breaking of trust, failure, redemption. Yeah. It's got it all. And, um, and Adam Sandler does a really good job. He's just a good actor. It, it, he's one of those actors where he doesn't seem to be trying very hard in all of his movies. And I will say the only thing, the only red flag, not a red flag, yellow flag, it was just kind of hard to believe Queen Latifah was his wife. I mean, she did great. The movie was great, even still, but Jennifer Aniston, Salma Hayek, those are Sandler's wives in movies, I remember. And Drew Barrymore, not that she's super hot or anything, but Queen Latifah, it's like... And it kind of give away why, because he wanted to have, we're going to have athletic children, which is basically him saying, I want a black wife so my kid can be more athletic, in so many words. Which is not wrong to say, you know. I, at one point, had a mixed child until he was a year and a half, uh, and I found out he wasn't mine. And uh, and I assumed he'd probably be athletic, just because I am, and he's got, you know, his, not that the, the mother was athletic, she was far from it. Uh, she's, I'm not going to disrespect her, but she wasn't athletic. But her family members were. I remember playing uh, football growing up with their brothers and stuff. And they are good at basketball, fast as hell. You know. I'm sounding like a weirdo now. Back to the movie. Uh, yeah, it was good. Queen Latifah's good. The cast is really good. You got uh, lots of basketball players playing themselves and playing other characters. You got Ben Foster. He's one of my favorite actors. He does great in it. Robert Duvall. He does great in it. <clears throat> Queen Latifah, Heidi Gardner, Juancho Hernan Gomez. He's Bo Cruz. So basically, I don't want to give spoilers away, but uh, basically, Sandler's like a scout for the 76ers, right? And he's got a real close relationship with the owner, and he's about to like get a job not scouting anymore he's going to be a coach so it's like he gets right into it and uh he discovers this guy who's like nobody knows about hey but he's super good and he just instantly believes in him and i won't tell anymore that's my premise spoiler free you guys leave in comments if I'm giving spoilers in my videos because I try not to, but I understand I might say too much sometimes. And I apologize. But anyway, the point is, this movie's so good, it almost made me tear up. If I was more if I was in a more sensitive mood when I watched it, I definitely would have cried. Tears of joy, tears of happiness, because it's like super touching. I mean really, really touching movie. Which is kind of hard to believe with Adam Sandler because I don't remember besides um, funny people was pretty touching and funny so I guess he can do that 
and he's been in lots of romantic comedies, so maybe that's his gig. But it's not a romantic comedy, so don't don't worry about that. It's comedy drama to a T. Awesome cast, producers. Uh, I remember LeBron James's name coming up, and it was like lots of producers. It's a Happy Madison production on Netflix. I think. I heard Adam Sandler is doing all his movies on Netflix now, which is fine by me. If they're going to be like this one, keep them coming there, Sandman. And uh, let's give it my rating on the faux scale. I give it a solid 100. I give it a solid 99% because I just couldn't believe he was in love with Queen Latifah. <laughs> um... But 99% is great. And don't take this as anything against Queen Latifah. She's great. She's great in the movie. It's just the, the, for the optics. It just didn't. It wasn't the most believable relationship. But it's not even important. <clears throat> and I kind of regret even bringing it up. Because I'm sure people are going to think I'm being negative or something. But I'm really not. There's nothing negative about this movie. It's phenomenal. I definitely recommend it. It's on Netflix right now, so check it out. And if you do, leave your what you thought in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Um, sorry if I'm not as enthusiastic. I just walked the dog. I'm exhausted. My back's destroyed. I'm trying to trying to take steps to get back in shape, get back in positivity. No more weed every day. It's been about two weeks with no weed. I'm still sweating at night, but hey. It's okay. This isn't the rock bottom show, though. This is Foe in the Flick, so I'm going to wrap it up here with a solid 99%. Hustle, Adam Sandler. Watch it. You won't regret it. It's a great movie for the family. Thanks, guys.